call the member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Madam Temporary Speaker. I rise to commend and thank Naomi Smith, president and founder of A Butterfly's Embrace, as well as her team for providing support to parents and families and to effect change in overlooked or underserved areas of pregnancy and infant loss. Naomi was motivated to start the organisation and assist others who have lost a baby after her own baby, Lucas, passed away on the 9th of April 2014, having been born on the 22nd of March 2014. She honours his memory by making a difference to the lives of other parents who have also lost a little one. The loss of a baby or infant is traumatic and is something a parent may never ever want to experience. It is vital that those who have suffered this experience are supported in any way possible. Naomi and her team of volunteers provide other parents who have suffered a loss with resources and also provide them with details of organisations that may help them along the way and give them that assistance that's sorely needed. They also help grieving parents and families make connections with their bereaved other parents. I was honoured to join Naomi and her team for the launch of a project by the name of Butterfly Kisses. This is the brainchild of Naomi and involves the creation of a beautiful space neighbouring the secret garden and nursery in Richmond on the Western Sydney University campus. It will become a place of contemplation and reflection for angel parents who have lived through the loss of their baby in pregnancy or infant loss. I commend the secret garden and nursery for gifting this large space so that families can reflect and honour their little one. I hope the space assists loved ones in dealing with their grief. Naomi and her team also provide ideas on how families may create memories and keepsakes, such as taking photos, asking the hospital for an ID card, birth announcement card, hospital keepsakes, as well as other time-sensitive ideas. The widespread types of support that Naomi and her team offer demonstrates the extent of their desire to assist bereaved parents. It is clear that Naomi and her team have the emotions and well-being of other parents at heart, and that's why um, what they do is so important and touching. I extend my commendations and thanks to the board, members and volunteers who assist Naomi in this important cause. And I want to particularly mention Liz Eaton, Secretary and Operations Manager, Juliet Williams, the Treasurer and Communications Manager, Odette Farron, Social Media Coordinator, and Kelly Hayes, the event uh, coordinator. I met all of these at the function recently. I also commend and thank all other supporters and volunteers who assist the organisation in any capacity. It is important, uh, a very important cause and the effect of their support is immeasurable. I wish Naomi and her team, supporters and volunteers all the best and I have no doubt that they will continue to assist their bereaved parents in other areas. I encourage uh, any families uh, who have lost a baby or an infant to reach out to organisations that offer support, visit a GP or contact Lifeline Australia. Thank you, Madam Assistant Speaker. I call the Parliamentary Secretary in reply. Uh, thank you, Ma Madam Speaker. I rise to uh, thank the member for Hawkesbury for bringing that motion. I had the privilege of being with her at that function along with the federal member and the mayor. And it was truly a moving occasion to hear the people speak, the two women and, and one father mm. who'd all lost uh, either infants or uh, stillborn children. Mm. Uh, a truly challenging experience just to be there and attend and hear that. And I commend them for the good work they're doing to reach out to others going through that experience and make life a little easier for them. So well done to a butterfly embrace. Speaker. I call 